Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osama here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how can you enable appointment email notifications for your contacts or users in Go High Level. So I'm in my Go High Level sub account and under settings and calendars, you can see I have calendar settings here. So there's a bunch of calendars I have in this account. I'm going to pick this one right here. So let's go ahead, click on edit here, and then we're going to head straight to the notifications and additional options. Now here you will notice that we have a list of appointment notifications, which you can set up for each status for an appointment. So let's say if there's an appointment booked with the unconfirmed status, we can edit this one here. We have one for confirmed, then it is also handling cancellations, reschedule, reminder, and follow-up. So this is a really good way, and you can enable this for both users or the assigned users and contact. So in a way, this will also save you a bunch of time that you would put in a workflow to accomplish all of this. So this is a head start on that side, and this is just for email notifications. Now, if you want to customize this, you can click on the pencil icon right here, and then this is where you get an option to enable or disable this. So this one is already enabled. You will see we have two options, email and in-app. So email, when we select that, it asks us who should receive this notification for this unconfirmed appointment status. Now, I have already selected the assigned user, so whoever is assigned to this contact would receive that email. And if you want to review the content of the email, you'll just click on this arrow right here and it will show you the subject as well as the body text here. As you can see, the custom fields are being used here. So this is by default, but if you already have some email templates that you have designed in the email builder, you can choose them from here. I don't have an email template set up for this, so I will default to what Kohala has in already. And then you can also send yourself a test email if you need to test how this looks like. I'm going to scroll up for now. I'm going to head over to in-app here. And now you get an option to send notifications to users. So you can see it says that this will be an internal notification on the web and the mobile app. So if you are logged in on the web, of course, you will see that under notification on the top right. And if you are on the mobile app, you will also get a notification on that side. By default, you will see that it goes to the assigned user. Of course, you can disable or enable this. And if you want to notify any additional users, it will pull up the users you have in your account and you can map them from here. It allows you to send this notification to multiple users if need be. Once you're happy with these settings, you will click on save button right here. And now it will save the notification settings for this appointment status. Now in a similar way, you can go ahead and customize these different options. So let's say if we go to the cancellation notification, I'll just click here then I will enable this feature and then I can choose who should receive this notification. So the contact would automatically get it. So we have the content first, here is the content. Again, you can map an email template if you have already designed one in the Go High Level Email Builder. Then it is going to the assigned user with this content right here, which is again, customizable. And then you can also choose to notify additional emails. Let's say your staff that is not a part of your Go High Level account, you can enable this option customize the content here and then put in their email ID separate by commas. You can of course test it. And once you're happy with these settings, you can go ahead, click on save here. And once it is saved, you will see right here if it is enabled or disabled. Green is for enabled and I only enabled the email option here. Of course, if you enable in-app as well, that will also appear to be green in that case. And now if you go ahead and test it, I've already scheduled a test appointment on this calendar so we can see how it appears like. So you can see I have got an email, which is from the notification that we set up. So if we go back here under the confirmed appointment status, this is the email template that we would do to receive. So this is the subject, which is exactly what it is here. And if we scroll down to the email content here, we can see we have these three buttons, which look really nice. And if we go back here, we have that option. So I can just go ahead, click on any of these options and add this appointment into my calendar for reminders. So this is how easy it is using these notification options where you can notify your users, your contacts for any appointments or reminders or any kind of status for the appointment, which will help you save a ton of time. And it is quite intuitive to just do it from right here as compared to the workflows. That was about this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments below and we'll get back to you. This is Sama signing off. I'll see you in the next one.